Hey guys, Sumnus Gaming here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I decided to do something different and show you one very useful program for those who installs Windows, Linux to PCs and they just hate reformatting those drives like for example if they're using Rufus or Etcher you have to reformat those drives but what if I told you that you just reformat your drive one time and then you can just drag and drop operating systems onto that drive and there is no reformatting needed. And that software is Ventoy. I mean, I've searched online that software and I didn't see a lot of people talk about it, but when I saw that software, it's a pretty amazing software. So. Let's get right into the video. So here we are on Ventoy's main page. And we are just gonna go hit downloads and hit Windows zip. It's gonna take it's gonna take us to GitHub page. We're gonna just scroll down, we're gonna just find a Ventoy Windows.zip. We are just gonna hit on that and it will begin downloading it. And also, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get a get this Ventoy's themes. So I'm gonna be including this gnomelook.org page where you can download all sorts of Grub themes. So this Ventoy uses a Grub booter, and Grub there are a lot of themes for it. So right here I am on this Big Sur Grub theme. And it's a very popular one and mainly, personally, I like this theme a lot because it li literally looks like a big server and I'm gonna be including this link to, it, to download it as well and I'm gonna be showing you how to install it. So if you go on files here, we are gonna see there is a big server grub to theme and there is a big server Ventoy theme, so there is a specific zip file meant for Ventoy to install this theme. So we are just gonna hit on this one, uh, Big Sur Ventoy theme, download, and it will be begin downloading it. And now let's move to another part of this Ventoy's installation. And there is our, uh, both those files where we just downloaded. The first one is Ventoy for Windows and the, that Big Sur Ventoy theme. So we are just gonna extract both of them. So let's just quickly extract them. And now we are gonna go on to a installer. So this is the installer. We are just gonna hit on Ventoy to disk. It's gonna ask for our administration privileges. We're just gonna hit allow. It automatically uh, selected my disk, so you just have to select your disk, make sure this is the correct one because it will reformat it and it's gonna be okay. And on options, make sure to check secure boot support. And there are languages, so you can choose whatever language you want. Now we are just gonna hit, uh, but before that just uh, quickly check partition style. It should be MBR, so if it's on GPT just check on MBR, master boot record, and hit install. The, the device will be formatted and the all data will be lost. So it's gonna be only for this single time and 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 then on there won't be any reformatting so it's gonna be just only this time we're just gonna hit yes yes and now it's reformatting it and that's it and this Ventoy right now is on the newest version, 
and it's installed. There is no need for anything and if we will go on our disk we can just see it's a blank disk. If I go back to the to the uh, to the downloads folder we are gonna see that I have downloaded those themes earlier and we can see it's just a simple background with uh, a lot of like other things so we're just gonna uh, copy this this part I'm just gonna copy it uh, we're gonna copy Ventoy this this is the the where the themes are so we're just gonna copy it go to the Ventoy folder and paste it make sure it's on this drive yes it is now I'm just gonna copy few ISOs and I'm gonna be back so right now you can see I'm just uh, waiting for it to finish copying and uh, right now I'm just copying Ubuntu to test out and it's really that simple just to drop drag and drop the ISO file and that's it the event I will immediately recognize that ISO and you will be up and running whatever kind of ISO you want and on the main page uh, they have listed tested ISOs so you can check what what ISOs works with this Ventoy but for me basically all the operating systems are working so you can see Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, 10, 11, server versions when even Windows PE so for Linux like basically almost all of the operating system there are you can even run Chrome OS you can even uh, run other kind of software like for example VM, VMware ESXi Citrix XN server XN XSNG so basically this software is mainly for like operating systems and that's it for me i i have a 32 gigabytes 3.0 usb flash drive where i store a lot of operating systems and i just drag and drop those isos i have like uh, other personal files like photos other stuff on there and they don't interact they don't interrupt the isos so you can just uh, drop uh, like other things there onto that flash drive and those isos won't be even interrupted and that's actually pretty amazing for this kind of software to do those stuff so i'll be back when it's finished so here here i have this usb flash drive I'm just gonna go and plug it in, boot up, um, oh, forgot the power supply, and I'm gonna press the boot, the boot key, which is for me a Dell, delete, and it's gonna boot into this UFI, and here we have a Windows Boot Manager and this U UFI SanDisk. So this is my SSD and this is the this is the USB flash drive. So everything is fine. So I'm just gonna exit. This car changes and exits. And here we are. There is that's the big Sur theme that's the Ubuntu it's that simple of course you can add a lot more ISOs and there will be a lot more of those ISOs but for right now I have only copied Ubuntu we're just gonna hit enter and Ubuntu enter and that's it of course now I'm gonna I'm gonna have to wait because this is a USB 2.0 so the speeds aren't 
the greatest but as you can see it's booting up everything is normal and yeah you can see it's checking the disk but uh, in other cases for example when I tried this software for the first time there were some issues there were like uh, when I first booted up the flash drive there was something to do with MDK uh, blue splash screen you have to just enroll a VTOY UF UFI disk um, so basically what I was trying to say is that if you get a blue screen that says perform MDK management you use arrow keys and then scroll down to hit enter on enroll hash from disk then select VTOR EFI then EFI slash then boot slash then select grub x64.efi then continue then yes then reboot and then you will reboot into ventoy but if you didn't have this screen that means everything is fine you're just gonna hit try ubuntu everything is working fine and that's it of course I'm not gonna be waiting here for it to boot up or if it will boot up very instantly like, like this then okay fine and here we have it we just go on a Firefox to see if it's actually working of course it is let's see Simulus Gaming yes and everything is working fine as you can see I can search online basically just if you were using Rufus or Etcher to reformat drive or to install Ubuntu but in this case I only reformatted that drive one time and that's it I can just drag and drop ISOs and there there will be no reformatting from now on. There will be just simple drag and drops. So I hope you found this video useful. This software works for desktops, laptops and let me know down in the comments how do you like the software. And for me, this I've been using this software for about like one or two years and it's probably the best software that I have ever knew about and I just wanted to share this, so this amazing software with you and let me know down in the comments what you think about the software. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, comment, like and subscribe and goodbye.